praise the lord my dear friends in today's first reading from the book of first samuel chapter 26 we read about two individuals saul and david saul a man who is living for this earthly riches and power and david though he is an earthly man but he had a fellowship with the god and moved by the spirit when saul experienced that david is becoming famous he may become king he got frightened a man who doesn't have god is frightened because all that he has is the earth and the earthly things and he is afraid to lose so he takes pain to go in search of david and he makes the lives of 3000 soldiers miserable takes them to the desert to catch one man and in the desert he sleeps on the floor taking all kinds of pain the lust for power made him and so miserable and he doesn't realize what's happening to him he become like a blind man he destroys himself and destroys others he becomes like a mad man and he doesn't realize though we are human beings on this earth though we may have the power on this earth we belong to a living god who endows man with the power of heaven when you are moved with the power of heaven your life will become different yes david on the other hand who knew the life of the spirit who was anointed by the spirit he came to know that Saul has come to kill him but he knew unless god allows to happen something in the life of david nothing will happen my life is safe in the hands of god so he tells his friends who will come with me and his one of his close friends says i will come with you so he goes with a friend and with the courage of the lord when they went to the battle ground no to the desert where Saul and 3000 people were the bible says god protected david so we read in verse 12 that god made those 3000 people and Saul to have a deep sleep god protects his children who go in his name because they move with the spirit of god david did not go to kill Saul but to show god's goodness god's power and god's spirit so he took the spear of Saul and the water jug and went to the higher place god children always go to the higher place and first samuel 26:1 says Saul went down to the desert man with the flesh always goes down but man with the spirit always look high think high and give life in great measure so david calls on Saul hello my king you wanted to kill me but god gave you into my hands i could have finished you up no the friend asked david saying hello my dear i will kill him you need not to kill Saul i will kill Saul with one strike but david said do not touch the anointed one of god fear of god is the fruit of a man who walks with the spirit courage inner courage is the man who walks with the spirit Saul had power Saul had money Saul had soldiers but he could not touch david david had only one friend but he could have killed Saul but he did not kill he saved him Saul's heart was melted when david cried and said king 
here is your spear here is your water jug we came to your place you are sleeping we could have finished you off but life is not killing another you are not my enemy i am supposed to give kindness mercy and goodness that is the life of the spirit Saul said i'm sorry i did a mistake yes my dear friends on this earth we are all created as the children of god today second reading says first corinthians chapter 15 verse 45 the first man was a living being all of us have received life from god but what do we do with our life adam and eve they fell into sin they fell into the trick of the enemy because they were not aware of the lord in them so the second adam jesus christ came to tell the world life is much more than our breath it is goodness it is forgiveness it is mercy it is giving life to one another so he became a living being turn into spirit filled person yes our life should turn into spirit filled persons spirit filled compassionate persons yes we can become earthly or heavenly depends on us jesus though he was born on this earth filled with the compassion he forgave the sinners he told mary magdalene a sinner that she he loves god everybody talks about her as a sinner as a prostitute but jesus said she is a woman of love and she turned out to be yes the way we look we can turn the people for that you need to move from our living being to spirit filled being compassionate filled beings that's what jesus says in today's gospel your life is once on this earth learn to forgive each other learn to show compassion to each other if somebody is taking away one cloth take it like allow him if he needs of it because when you by giving to others you never lose by recognizing the another as the child of god you are always giving yourself to others you will be always blessed from above the earth cannot destroy you as long as you are connected with heaven for heaven will supply all that is needed for you let's pray god heavenly father we praise you we thank you while we are living on this earth we are so much concerned about what to eat what to drink who is going to kill us who is going to do anything against us our minds are always corrupted with the things that are happening on this earth fear and worries pain and misery builds up man but you ask us to look above to have fellowship with you to know that we belong to you you want us to be possessed by your goodness your kindness and your power that we may love we may show mercy we may make this earth a heavenly place please bless all those who listen to this word of god and i in the mall with your spirit with your goodness with your generosity in jesus mighty name i pray amen my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord